Hello everyone, Entrepreneurity here, bringing you some Scott Pilgrim versus versus 0.9. <laughs> Welcome. Now today's guy, we're gonna be talking about Kim Pine. She was the most requested I got, and let's just get straight into it. Uh, I'm gonna fight here. I like the stage. So, Kim Pai is a character that needs to be up close and personal. I designed her to just get in your face and beat the hell out of you with the quickness. She's definitely a close range character. Sure, she does have a projectile and whatnot, but like I said, she's designed to get in your face and kill you. So, before I tell you how I personally get in when I'm playing as her, I'm just going to show off some of her basic stuff and then I'll tell you some of her best tools. So let's get into it. But here's her basic uh, light combo. You know that already. The uh, basic heavy. There you go. Uh, her crouching attack. That was light and heavy. Then jump. That causes a hard knockdown. So, like I said, this is version 0.9. I have personally already fixed some of her issues on my personal version of the game. You guys will be getting that soon enough. But for the verses y'all do got, I'm going to show y'all what y'all can do. So anyway, let's talk about her uh, basic stuff. So, with her crouching attack. People may not know this, but you can do stuff like this with her crouching light. It can chain it to itself. The most you can probably get is three, maybe four, depending on the character. But that's not what you want to try to do. It's a quick little cheeky low, and you can combo from it. Oops, mess it up. I am dropping the shit out of this, ain't I? YouTube curse, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I'm dropping the shit out of it. There it is. Damn, that sucks. But yes, you can't get a combo from her crouching attack. There we go. Now you're getting in the zone. Now, so yeah, if you're up close, we'll get a quick little cheeky low in. Just sneak that in there. There you go. And if you're fast enough, yeah, you can keep that. <laughs> if you're fast enough. <laughs> I'm not that fast enough, apparently. But anywho, let's go to her standing combo. Because now I doubt a lot of y'all actually use crouching text like that. So you may be wondering what to do with this. So this is a special move that I noticed that didn't appear on the move list. So this is probably why people uh, aren't utilizing it. But she has a uh, part of her uh, passive trait. I call it the bitch slaps. <laughs> so if you do the end of her light combo, you know she goes into the bitch slap state. The bitch slap state works like E Honda slaps or Chun Li's kicks. All you have to do is just uh, press both light, then heavy, then light, then heavy, and you gotta have a meet. Uh, sorry, you gotta have a rhythm to it. You can't just mash it because you mash it, it may not work properly. You can try mashing it, but like I said, it may not work properly. However, you know, like I said, if you're too fast, it should work, but I don't know. But don't be too slow either. Anyway, the way how the slaps work here, I'll show you. So once you enter the slap state, which is this, all you have to do is go light. I mean, sorry, heavy, then light, then heavy, then light, and then just keep pressing heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light. And if you do it correctly, she'll do something like this. You can get a corner combo off of that. I'll show y'all that later. And if y'all press it even faster, she'll get something like this. Oh, I dropped it. Damn. There it is. So she gets a free EX attack. That costs no meter, and it's going to do a ton of damage. Like I said, I already fixed it, but yeah, yeah, it's going to do a ton of damage when it's over. The thing about Kim, she was made to play like a Tekken character. Why? Because I freaking love fighting games, and I want to reference as many fighting games as possible. So, I don't know if you guys ever played Brian Fury or Steve Fox in Tekken, but like their Gatlin Fist thing, you got to really mash to get that really, that, the, the blue one, the blue spark one. And that's pretty much what that is. And then speaking of Tekken, let's talk about her special moves real quick. I'm gonna talk about her default, her, her base special. The kick right here. So, that's down for a special. 
But if you do it perfectly, oops, and I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> so the way I do it perfectly is uh, it works like Kazuya's Electric Wing God Fist. That's pretty much what this is based off of. But it's so much easier in this game. So you know, Down Force Special gets you that. But if you do Down Force Special, but if you do Down, then Forward and Special at the same time, like right on point. Oh, hang on. I'm over here messing it up now. YouTube here. There it is. So pretty much you press down and then four special at the same exact time pretty much. And you'll get this, this this perfect version. It's not it's not stupid easy. It does require some skill. Like Kim does require skill to play. She's not just like, I'm just gonna run up and punch you. No. To do her best tech, you gotta get the uh, the perfect versions of her moves. That's part of her passive trade and stuff. So anyway, let's talk about the difference between it. Here's the basic one. You see, it launches, but it kind of launches them away from you. So if you're in a corner, sure. But you can't really do much, too much, uh, when they're outside of it. If you're fast enough, sure, but yeah, you're not going to be able to do too much. Oh, well, there's the perfect one. I wasn't trying to get it, but the perfect one keeps them right in your face with jugglers. And yes, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, the EX one. The EX one just kicks them away. It's going to hit hard and just kick them away. Like, get the hell away from me. So it's better to do that in the corner if they're standing. But the glory and, and the good thing about the EX one is the OTGs. So once you get your heart knocked down, you're going to EX one. And then do whatever you want from there. I'll show you some of my personal combos in a second. But I'm just showing you... How you want to use the moves and everything. So, regular ones for corner combos, perfect ones for mid screen, and the EX is for OTGs. And speaking of OTGs, this also OTGs. Also, let me stop. Let me let me let me do some some training real quick. <laughs> let me just give y'all some knowledge real quick. Oh, excuse me. Hang on. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Sneeze. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, so OTGs means off the ground. These moves can hit and pick up off the ground. And some moves just will hit you on the ground, but they pick up off the ground. That's what OTG means. <laughs> anyway, another special move you really want to rely on, her booty buff. Her booty buff is her damage. So this is basically your combo ender. Both of them, pretty much. So you definitely want to use the booty buff to end combos instead of starting them or whatever. The projectile is obviously the normal projectile. However, the EX one is an unblockable stun. Yeah, that's unblockable. It doesn't stun for too long, nor does it double, uh, do a lot of damage. But what you can do is try to do some quick little cheeky setups. Obviously, somebody could punch you out of that if you do it that close up. But if somebody's like, you got them pressured, you want to, they got a little less shit. Why am I getting tongue tied? If you know, you're pressuring them, they stuck in a corner or whatever. And now they freaking too scared to attack you. They respecting you too much. Yeah, just hit it with that freaking EX spitball. Keep the combo going. It doesn't do a lot of damage and the stun doesn't last too long. It will get buffed, don't worry. Like I said, most of the stuff in here has already been fixed and changed on my end. So yeah, there are Kim changes incoming. But uh, anywho, the next special move. This special move wasn't even on the move list, Ryan. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna just throw him under the bus. Uh, she has a fourth special move, which I'm sure you guys probably already may have discovered because like I said in my tutorial video on how to play, you got the down forward, down back, back forward, and down down command. So her down down command, is this stump, which is a reference to Alex's stump from uh, Street Fighter 3. But anywho, the glory about her stump is it's supposed to get her closer to the jump so high in the air. So if somebody's trying to zone you with projectiles and you're a good distance away, you can just stump them. And not to mention the recovery is not that bad either. So if you do whip it, because they're trying to spam your projectiles, you've got time to react to it. You can block, jump, whatever you want to do. Hey, this is pretty much your move to get in closer and then get the combo. This is also one of your best combo uh, extenders, actually, and enders. So the reason why it's an ender is, I'm going to show you. The regular one, not EX, is the best ender. 
It does a decent amount of damage. It leaves the opponents right in front of your face so you can tear them up. Now, the EX version is the one you want to look for because it does a ton of damage and you can link it better. So here, check this out. I'm sure y'all can come up with better stuff, but the EX one is your best friend. Her best combo is definitely her heavy combo because it leaves them close enough for you to, uh, to do the stump and link the stump into it. But I personally like using her punch combo because I like the bitch slaps. Sorry, if you're fast, yes, you can special cancel the bitch slaps, by the way. Whoops. It's a bit tricky. And you gotta get your time it down right. I say Kim, Kim is definitely really skill based oriented. So yeah, you can do it though. But yeah, it's uh it's pretty tricky. But like I said, me personally, I like the freaking um the bitch slap combos. Now speaking of the bitch slap, like I said, you can combo from it in the corner. If Kim gets you in the corner, you're you're pretty much dead. She's gonna pressure the shit out of you. So you can do some crazy stuff. Hang on. I didn't mean to do the EX version of it. <laughs> you want to do the regular version of it. Ah, uh, drop it. Oh, look at me. The YouTube curse is striking again. Oh, I did, it too, I did it too early. But yeah, you get some decent damage with that, man. It only costs like a bar and a half because the combo is going to get you your meter back. Hang on, try one more time. <laughs> one more time, y'all. There we go. Pretty decent damage. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, another thing too about her supers. So I, I will reveal now that I am aware of her super bit, uh, glug, ah, glugs? Bugs. What the hell am I saying today, y'all? I'm sorry. So yes, her level one will be, uh, will be buffed. Her level two will definitely be fixed because this startup is way too long. Like I said, I already fixed it on my end. But the reason I'm about to showcase the level two, there's something about her level two that's also secret that nobody didn't show you guys. So her level two has a secret command on there, which I'll put on the screen and everything. But here, I'm gonna show you the regular level two real quick. It doesn't do that much damage. It's a basic level two, no big deal. But if you do the command with it, the secret command, if I remember, Oh my god, I freaking remember. <laughs> so I'll put it on the screen uh, as you guys can see and everything. That I'll, po I'll also post that in her character guide section in Discord in case you forget until we update like the move list and everything. Uh, that originally was going to stay a secret, but I was like, nah, I want people to actually try to go for it. Because if you drop it, you will be punished. You will die. Yeah, they can react to that, even though I'm, I'm playing by myself here. But they can react to that. So if you drop that, you know, don't go for it if you don't think you can hit it. It is a rhythm. You can't just mash it. Kim is definitely anti-masher. Like I said before, she takes skill. You can't just mash with her. So, yeah. The last thing I want to talk about is her strikers. So the striker I rely on the most is actually her B striker, which is Steven. Steven comes out really fast. He got good range on him, and he launches. Whoops, I did the wrong special move, but you guys get the picture. At least I hope you do. That wasn't a true combo. They could have recovered from that. But you guys see what I'm talking about. And the only time I use Steve, me, Scott, is when they're up close. Now, there's another thing you guys may have noticed. She also has one third striker, which I, it says in her character description, which is knives. This is completely like true. That's that they can't do shit about it. If they don't hit you out of the startup animation, they're gonna get stunned no matter where they are. The kiss is just that goddamn shocking. <laughs> so yeah, they can't block that. If they're looking at you and they see it, they're they're gonna get hit by it. So that's a free little stun thing you can do. So if you catch somebody with knives, 
Mwah. Get another stun in and then do your combo. Whatever you want to do from there. Even though I personally don't need to do two stuns. I mean, I probably would just to get extra damage. But at this moment in this version, just if you hit somebody with knives, you know, just, you know, fuck them up. Knives will be nerfed. I will reveal that right now. Knives was originally only supposed to have one use per round. And freaking, I forgot to limit her ass. So, y'all better go crazy with her right now. Because she's only supposed to have at least like one freaking use per round and shit. Or at least a mean ass cooldown. But, I think that's about it with Kim. Like I said, she's supposed to be up close and personal. She needs to beat the shit out of her opponent. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's about it. She doesn't hit too hard, but everybody's going to get some sort of damage bust in the near future. Because I noticed a lot of people don't hit as hard as others. So without further ado, I'm going to just show off some bit of my personal combos with Kim so you guys can get some ideas. And yeah, you all stay ultra fatal. Peace. Hope you're ready for some Show fun. me your stuff. Go away, you annoy me. Go away. Go away. 